You may leave us. Was it not yesterday we spoke together? It was so to suit your highness. Well then, now, have you considered of my speeches? Know that it be he in the times past, which had you so under fortune, which you thought had been our innocent self, who wrought with them, and all else that might to half a soul, and to a notion crazed, say thus did Banquo. I you, you made it known to us, my liege. I did so. And went further, which is now the point of our second meeting. Are you so gospeled to pray for this good man, and for his issue, whose heavy hand hath bowed you to the grave, and beggared yours forever? Uh, uh, we are men, my liege. Aye. <laughs> in the catalogue ye go for men, as hounds and greyhounds, mongrels, spaniels, curs, shots, water rugs, and demi wolves are clept, all by the name of dogs. Excuse me, uh, sir, I'm sorry. Did you just call us dogs? What? what? I'm no mongrel, mate. Settle down. You Settle heard down. him? He just called us a couple of curs. I was just making a point. And what, pray tell, even is a water rug? Take it easy, chump. Do you know what a water rug no, is? No, I didn't know what a water rug is. It doesn't sound like a very nice dog to me. Gentlemen! Oh, so now we're gentlemen, are we? <laughs> we have business to discuss. Aye, my age. That's why we are here. <laughs> are you prepared to do the deed? I am a man, my liege, whom the vile blues and buffets of the world have so incensed that I am reckless when I do to spite the world. <laughs> and what say you? <laughs> uh, uh, me? Um, well, I'm not bad, you know, uh, things could be worse. What? Well, no, I'm just saying, I, I'm getting by, you know, so I can... <laughs> Do you want to do this gig or not, you bleeding idiot? Oh, but I was just being honest, because he... You have, you have to tell the man what he wants to hear, otherwise we are out. All right, I'll get it. Well, uh, well, I have got this burning in my stomach. Um, in your stomach? Yeah, I think it might be a touch of indigestion from some bad... But the burning makes me very mad. So mad, I think I could slit someone's throat. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> no Banquo is your enemy. True, my liege. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever met the blighter. I, I'm sorry, what was that? Well, so I'm just supposed to take it on your word that he's my enemy. <laughs> That's right. Well, how do you know? <laughs> I'm the king, that's how. That's right, he's a king. But this Banquo never called me a bleeding greyhound. And you shut up. Or a freaking demi wolf. Are we ready here? We are ready, my liege, to do what you would have us command us, command us what to do, what we must perform. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> and though I could with barefaced power sweep him from my sight and bid my will avouch it, yet I must not, masking the business from the common eye for sundry weighty reasons. Uh, what weighty reasons? Jesus. What <laughs> weighty reasons indeed? <laughs> pardon, pardon him, my liege. He's a good laddie, but a wee bit weak in the head. Oh, all we mongrels are like that. Yeah, will you turn it off? Well, he's being pretty vague about his way he reasoned, but not when he was calling us dogs. He was real specific about that now, wasn't he? Can you just shut your thinking crap? Sit us! Are you resolved? We are resolved, my liege. Ah. Good. I'll call you up straight. Abide with him. Uh, a moment, please, Your Highness. What is it now? Um, 
What is your lordship's pleasure as 2DM? <clears throat> Modus operandi. What? what? How would you like us to do away with the general? <laughs> I'll leave that up to you. Oh, but it would be very helpful if we knew your pleasure in the matter, so just so we can all be on the same page. Well, how do you normally dispatch your victims? Oh, well, we could run him through with a sword, see? That's sure fire, but it is a little bit messy, you know, with the, you know, with, uh, if, you, if you miss the vital organs on the first go-round. Oh, but maybe it's to gather it around the neck, see? There's like a twist, twist, and then a choke, choke. Oh, that's much neater. And it doesn't, it takes a lot of time and effort, though, so. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe we could do my personal favourite, the old one, too. And what is that? Okay, well, first you conk him on the head with a cudgel, see? And then, while he's lying on the ground all unconscious like, you twist a chain around both of his feet and then attach the other end of the chain to a large rock. And then you drag the body into a rowboat and you take the rowboat out into the middle of a deep, dark lock and then you push him off the edge, rock first, and he goes, boo, down to the bottom. <laughs> and then, hopefully, he stays there. <laughs> Seems like a lot of work. Oh no, but it's very effective and very clean, which I personally... I say, we run him through! Yes! I think swords will be quick. Yeah, one small issue with that, mate. Um, so I, I've lent me sword to my cousin Fred for the weekend. <laughs> what? Well, he needed it to clip his hedges. Get the thing back. I would, except he's gone all the way to Inverness for a few days with his family, so... Uh, Do you never plan anything? Well, I'm sorry, but look, I have got a cudgel, so we could just do, do the old one too. I haven't got a cudgel. Oh, that's all right. I'll do the cudgel a bit, and then you could wrap the chain around the rock. Oh, no. I mean, they lift them any rocks. The last time I did that, I put me back out. I couldn't make a decent kill for a month. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm supposed to do the whole job all by <laughs> myself. Look, 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 look. Here's what we'll do. Okay. You conk him on the head with the cudgel, right? And then, when he's out, I will run him through with a sword. No, 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 you can't combine the old one too with the sword play. Why not? Because it would be unprofessional! Well, you must get a bleeding sword, then, mustn't you? Oh, oh, but I do have a dirk! Oh, but a dirk is not going to hit me by all It It's been with you. Plunge the bloody thing in deep enough. Go straight into its heart. I'm not going to be doing any plunging. Not with me carpal tunnel syndrome. Oh. That's <laughs> not my way. You know that. Will you two shut up? <laughs> look, look, I, I don't care how you kill him. You can run him over with a horse and cart for all I care. I just want him dead. All right, all right. You don't have to yell about me. I think we're done here. All right, we're ready. My, my leech, you can count on us. Banco is as good as dead. Good. When the deed is done, Come round to the back of the palace and my servant will have your fee ready. Oh, fee? Oh, so no benefits? It's a freelance <laughs> job, you what? dummy. You say lance? Freelance. Free lance? Oh, so now we're supposed to reorganise the whole job and use a lance. Oh, OK, all right. You know what? You can count me out. I draw the line, all right? You two amateurs can do this job on your own because I'm out of here. Lance. <laughs> Nobody uses a lance for your one, two. <laughs> it's important in our study of Shakespeare that we take a serious look at the theater that he thrived in as a playwright, producer, and actor. In that sense, he was in the theater a will of all trades. <laughs> <clears throat> Shakespeare, must be remembered, played to his audience, and that audience largely determined the nature of his plays, whether they be comedy, tragedy, or historical. So let's turn to the Globe Theater and its audience. That audience being, all in all, a surprisingly varied lot. Oh, 
a big crowd today. Yeah. Always is on holiday. Uh, not too crowded here. Oh, that's a good view of the stage, too. Oh, yeah. Hey, what was the play again? It's something called uh, Hamlet. Hamlet? Yeah. Sounds like something you'd have for breakfast, don't it? It's <laughs> 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 another one by that Shakespeare fellow. Oh, yeah, I remember him. He was the one that wrote that funny one, uh, uh, Comedy of Errors, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. With the twins, and then right. running backwards and forwards. Yeah. <laughs> I laughed so hard, I thought I was going to puke. Well, she did puke, mate. Right all over my new shoes, it was. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of fresh air, good view of the stage. And we've got to stand the whole time. Oh, watch your step, blood. Looks a bit dodgy down there. Oh my god! Is that dog shit? <laughs> <laughs> no, Mum, no. Unless my nose deceives me, that there is horse shit. <laughs> I beg your pardon. No problem, Mum. Glad to be of assistance. Eh? <laughs> I can't believe you dragged us here. You're always saying I'd never take you anywhere. But well, it would be fine if you weren't such a cheapskate and bought us decent seats. But those seats up there are. Oh, crown a piece, dear. We, we can't afford that. Oh, but you can afford it when you're with your mates at the pub. Oh. 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 There's not another decent woman down here. Do you see any? No. No, there, husbands. Bought them proper seats up there! Oh, I don't okay. know about that. Hey, look, there's a fast and nice, decent bit of stuff over there, and that, eh? Wouldn't mind a run around the garden with her. <laughs> I stay away from that piece of fluff, mate, unless you want the dose of the clap, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah. All right. What's the play? Uh, Ham something. It's the tragedy of Hamlet, the Prince of Denmark. Tragedy? You told me we were going to see a comedy. It's a very good play. How would you know? I saw it last week. And lots of killing is there, mate. Oh, yeah, quite a bit, especially at the end. <laughs> I like a play with lots of killing. It holds me interest. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, looks like it's starting. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of slow, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's too much talking and all that poetry. Yeah, not very realistic if you ask me. I mean, when did you ever hear a bloody castle guard talking in poetry? It's iambic pentameter. Oh, well, it sounds like poetry to me, mate. Harry, tell those two to stop talking. I can't hear a word. Be all right. Pardon me, gentlemen, but would you lower your voices or move somewhere else? No problem, Governor. Oh, look! Look! There's a ghost on the castle ramparts. That's no, it don't look like a ghost to me. That's Hamlet's ghost. What? Is Hamlet dead already, then? Well, it's Hamlet's father's ghost. And he's, his name is Hamlet, too, is it? That's right. Oh, I don't know, Will. The place just started and I'm lost already. Will you too, please, go somewhere else? We can't hear a thing. Now look here, Mum. We paid our penny and have as much right to be here as you and your mister do. Oh, 